Welcome to Jagress This episode 17. It's been about what, two months, Mike, I think I said. Yeah, it's been about two months. And the last episode we ever did was talking about B- BT15 cards, going through the card list, and now we're in it. Oh, really? Wait uh, a minute. Yeah, and I'm your host. Uh, it's Peter, uh, Shotman, Shotman Lover, and then we got Michael here. Yeah, you know, it's it's your boy Michael, also known as Aimless. Uh, today we're just gonna re- do some uh, a quick locals recap of what happened on this actually yesterday. Uh, it was a uh, pretty, I would say sort of competitive, yeah, pretty competitive actually tournament. There was a lot of competitive yeah, yeah, decks it, in there. Yeah, that was yeah, it was competitive for the most part. Uh. I think I went three one. I went X one. I ended up, I ended up getting third. I bubbled down uh, under Mike. He got second, uh, but I was finally able to get an Olympus finals because I was in the finals with um, Swan, who won again. Good job, Swan, with his Lugamon. Yeah. I think he's only lost one tournament with that Lugamon. Yeah. I think that's, he's only lost one, and I, I remember the only time he lost is with the the day I played Ragnarok. OTK. That's funny. <laughs> but he he had a rough match because I think that that was the tournament he played uh, against. You were playing Red Hybrid and so was Saul. And uh, yeah. it was he wasn't having a good time against the deck. It was just kind of rough. You guys just went room. Exactly. Um. Yeah. Uh. Well, Swan's been he's he's been improving a lot. Uh. If there's anything I would say, I guess. Just be careful with time, because he does take quite a while on the turns. Which, maybe it was because the deck I was playing. Oh, I forgot to say it. The deck I played, <clears throat> I played it for the very first time. I literally bought the box the same day, put something together. I was like, okay, let's try this style. I took Mega Gargo. And I was able to take it to the finals. And I was surprised. It was freaking rough. My head was pounding. Uh, all because my main boss monster was Mega Gargo. And also, you know what? I also didn't play the deck a whole lot. So I probably didn't know every single combo, and I'm sure I misplayed it quite a few times. But I played against uh, Leomon, uh, won that one 2-0. I played against Leviamon, won that one 2-1. And I played against another Leviamon, won that one 2-0. And just because I won these does not mean it was easy at all. It was testing my damn brain and testing my plays and trying to figure out what the hell I'm doing. And also I haven't tested enough against Leviathan, which I probably should more because I know it's going to be like, I don't know what, if you would think Mike, uh, probably one of the top decks in the format. Yeah, it will be. Uh, yeah, I got to play test against more, uh, more Leviathan. And then my, uh, so it was Leo, Leviathan, Leviathan. And then I played Lugamon and, I felt against the against Swan and his Lugamon. Uh, I'm not trying to take any credit away from him. I just felt like, man, I it's the first game I got a lot of my um, kill spells or kill options, pretty much, and yeah. they're kind of they're kind of use, useless in my hand against Lugamon because once he gets to the big guy, it's I can't really use my options to kill his boss monster because he just kills me. And the second yeah. match, I got a bunch of Terrier Mons in my hand. And I was like, I only saw one Gargo the whole game. And I was like, no, I just, I was hoping to see a Gargo because I was planning to make a play where I did evolve in the back into Gargo. Uh, I had Paladin mode ready in my hand to tr- bottom deck a lot of his stuff that he just played. Um, oh, okay. That was just my play to try to come back somehow because I was just having a rough time. Um, but... Yeah, like I said, no discrediting Swan. He's a he's a good player. Um, yeah, so I ended up losing that one. I probably shouldn't have said anything because there's gonna be an Olympus Finals finally. But uh, after uh-huh. after three weeks, so there's so many ties. Uh, Mike played something spicy himself. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, mm-hmm. take take it to Mike over here. Check out his list. Yeah, so. As you can see on the screen by now, I um, was playing Armor Control. Um, fun fact about me, Armor was one of my favorite decks when it first came out. 
I played it for multiple sets until Blue Flare came out. And yeah, almost, almost took me to Nationals once, but that's a story for another time. So I decided to play Armor Control because the new Magna is dumb. It's very good for what it does. Uh, as Peter said, I got second place. My matchups were. I don't remember them. It was not. I, I played against Bang in my second round. I played against. So my first round was the Leviath, which I won 2 0. I played against Fang, which I won 2 1. Then I played against. Luga, I lost both games. And then I played against Blue Flare and I won 2 0. Um, honestly, I just played it. I played Magna Control because I wanted to see how it would stack up with Luga and Fang and some of the other brother decks. And surprisingly, it's very good. All because of the new Magna. It, does so much. Yeah. You're stripping the sources, you're bouncing. It just, yeah. That's because you don't even have the the new Magna yet either. It's gonna replace the other, the old one. Yes. It's like against Fang. Shout out to Marcus. Magna just does so much against that deck. It's like Digivolve into him, screw up the source, bounce the ace to hand, or Digivolve him and bounce the level five so they can't blast. It does so much, and it really was the like out of the four out of the three madness I played, I'm always trying to look for that one. Yeah, and I can tell you're enjoying playing the deck because you've been you played it quite a few times already, I believe, and it's it seems like a deck you don't uh get tired of because i mean it's like you said it's one of your your old your old babies yes uh um, go ahead mike my bad there is some things that were changing in it um especially with the ace cards i'm probably gonna add the war the rural ace instead of the magna and probably throwing some trainings but that's mainly it. You don't oh, yeah, miss fun. on training, right? I mean, everything's pretty much blue except for your options and Chimera? Yeah. Which is not bad. I don't think it's bad. Uh, but yeah, this is the list that Mike played. Uh, it looks like a, a lot of fun. I, I'm working on a new rapid list. Um, I don't know. Maybe I just need to play the other one out a little bit more. I mean, I won't show the list because my list will come out on uh, Olympus Finals later on in the week. But um, I don't know. I feel like there's some. I feel like I can make the deck pretty decent. I just need to do a few changes to it. <clears throat> um, speaking of uh, Digimon tournaments, we do have we did have a a big one that happened not too long ago. And it was the World Championships, and uh, first place was Seccon. Uh, yeah. NA Native. Yeah, uh, shout out to Pete. Yeah, shout out to that guy. I mean, Peter. Yeah, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, Seccon took it. I mean, I, I saw in the comments that people were hating on the deck, too. And, like, oh, man, Seccon's losing. People even... I think even when I was watching it on YouTube, people were like, Seccon can't win. There were some that were cheering him on, but, man, people hate this deck. Why do you think people hate this deck, Mike? Uh, It's grindy. It's, it's known for going to time. It's that one deck that makes you change your the play style, how you want to play the game. Yeah. Yeah, and I mean his list is pretty cool. I mean he doesn't honestly if you look at it, he doesn't have the big 
huge amount of removal compared to other older Secon lists. He has, uh, he has the bigger level six Digimons in there, like Venus is in there, and he's got that annoying, uh, what is it, Seraphimon? That was annoying. Yes. Yeah, I did the Avenge Kid, which I have Avenge Kid. I have in my list, so that that's actually pretty cool that someone is using it. I think Avenge Kid is pretty good because, say you're about to deck yourself out in a way, uh, you just pretty much use Avenge Kid, grab all your op, everyone, your options back, and your opponent's options back, and tuck it on under the deck, and you're good to go again. Um, it looks like he chose to go like on a more recovery route with the Digimon he picked. Yeah, I actually like this list a lot. It's like it's a more recovery route, which makes Serafi just that much better. Like, okay, you're gonna kill it. Yeah, you're gonna kill something with your board. Yeah, you're about to die. Uh, and then you also have the Emperor, which is awesome. Emperor is really good for like some of the decks I want to just promote up with uh, their rookies, kind of like Patamon and uh, what is it? Is it Luga? Yeah, it's Luga. Cool. Um, and then a lot of the other newer decks, kind of like uh, Gomamon, and yeah, most, most of those. And then uh, he added the dang, I can't remember the name of that option card with the uh, Angel Woman on it, kind of like a mini ruin mode in a way. If you trash it, it's like 5k Re- on the board. Revelation of Light, yeah, Revelation okay. of Light. yeah, that one's pretty cool. He added two of those. Um, and I don't see what well, there's also the uh, the friendship card right there, the Mac card. I play that in mine as well. Just in case I trash, uh, or just in case my security trashes my Avenge Kid or Death X, like it lets, it's a really good card in my opinion. Like you get to pick up any one Digimon; it doesn't have to be a certain color. Any one Digimon. Yeah. I feel eventually f- someone's gonna find a a way to loop that thing. Watch. That's that's not. <laughs> so it's good. I think that's gonna be a really good, really solid card. I mean, I don't know. I remember the first time I saw that card, <clears throat> I was like, you know what, meh, not that great. And after I really started, once I was building my own setcon list, um, I think I stumbled upon it when I was swiping through option cards. So I was like trying to figure out what I want to add in here. And um, what was it called? I think it was Marcus that told me to play the one cost tribute to the, I can't remember that. The one that you... You pop something, grab two purples back, or something like that. Yeah. And I was telling him, like, well, I mean, I don't really have anything except for Death X if he's in there. And I told him, uh, I got to read this other card, though, because I remember something with the Mac card. And at first, I was thinking, no, it's not going to work because I think it just picks up Garumon pieces only. <clears throat> so I kept going through it, and then I, find, I stumbled upon it in my, my options box with purples because I have everything sorted out. And I read it and I was like, oh, pick up any one Digimon. Okay, this card's getting into going into the deck because I can pick up anything I want. And then, of course, there's the second part where it gives you a Gurumon back to play, I guess, whenever it gets popped. But that's not the part we care about. We care about grabbing any Digimon card back, any color. And it's the same thing I did with um, the Dark Masters kind of Omni version of the deck. I added one of those in there as well. Oh, okay. <clears throat> just just in case I lose any of the pieces I need, kind of like or uh, Pokemon too or something. There you go, play it, get them back. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, again, congrats to the Secon list, and then uh, I, this is the next deck that came in second, which was uh, Frozen, I believe, from Germany. Oh. And he was playing Leviathan. Um. And I know people were saying stuff about slow playing and all that stuff. Uh, I mean, uh, I mean, yeah, no, I guess. I think about, uh, I think what I saw one thing about uh, on one podcast that I like watching a lot. Shout out to uh, Digigate Studios. Um, I can't remember that dude's name, but I like watch. He's the one. He's the guy with. The, he wears the glasses and everything. And he was talking about like uh, if most of your games go to time. It's most of the time you, and you should probably think uh, how to change that somehow, because you don't want your de- your games to go to time all the time. Uh, it's just he was. I think he had said something. It's like more of like a skill to be able to think of your plays ahead of time and fast and uh, make those plays happen instead of like having to go over every scenario like in slow mo or something like that. Um, which 
I mean, it made a lot of sense to me because, like me, I know how I am. I'm a fast player. Like I already have my play like in my head already, and I mm. I know my deck already as well. Where I'm just like at the point kind of where if I I see my hand and I'm like, okay, if I draw this card, I have this play. If I have this card, or if I, it's kind of like if when I draw a card, I'm like, okay, I have this play next. If I don't draw it, then I have to go with this play. So that's why when it's my turn, I'm just like, okay, I can do this. Sometimes I think a little bit, but I don't, I probably take less than, I, I would say I'm around like three minute mark or maybe around there in my place. Maybe less, to be honest. Maybe less. Maybe I'm saying that too high. Yeah, I'm the same way. It's like, I'll be thinking of different lines of play while my opponent is doing their stuff and it just makes it so much easier. I think I said my number too high. I don't think I I take three minute turns, but no, you never take no. I take very short turns, but um, I, that's why I enjoy playing you, Mike, because dude, me and you, our games go by like that, bro. Because we're just play, play, play. Here's my turn. You answer. Here's my turn. You answer. It's it's so good. Yeah. I love playing against you. It's so much fun. Um, well, also we're taking away from the list. So what about this Leviathan, man? Which, which I feel like is probably the best. Uh top two in the format right now. Mm. Yeah, yeah. He's, um, a, he's an annoying ass. <laughs> yeah, I, I actually like especially this list, I actually like it a lot. What's the part of that that you like about it? Um I like the guru package. <clears throat> I like the uh, Rush Gilmore. Oh, yeah, yeah, that one's pretty cool. Oh, because then you can, when you play your Digimon now, you can play it and you can rush for game. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. And then he runs the Shine Ruin Mode. Um, I don't think many run the Ruin Mode. People usually opt into the Anubis Mon as their other option of a level of a purple yeah. card. I like the Ruin Mode. Cause you can be very annoying. Like, I mean, say I'm gonna swing three checks. Boom! Rune mode is in your face now. What are you gonna do? Exactly. Uh, I like the rare I mean, mons, even though rare mons is pricey as f, bro. Can we get a reprint, please? Please give us some rare modes. That card is really good. It's solid for a lot of decks. Or a good amount of decks right now. Uh, what were you gonna say, Mike? My bad. Uh. I was just gonna talk about Ruin Mode. It's like it answers a lot of stuff in the format and it buys you that extra turn that you might need to skill to next step if needed. Exactly. I, I I yeah, that's what I really enjoy. There's a reason why I got second, right? And it was in the finals as well. And he ends up opting for um the old X antibody, which I agree with in a way in this deck because say cause sometimes you need um an X antibody card underneath your stack to play Leviathan X, right? And the other one, you can't play it unless you actually have an X antibody to digivolve over into. So then yeah. if you play that card, it just goes to your trash because you won't digivolve into anything. So I really like this one because like you're going to be able to slide that under any stack that you want, not forcing yourself to digivolve into anything or have to digivolve, you know? And then um, swing, play your Leviathan X on top. Pretty sick. So I, I agree with the old X antibodies in the deck. Uh, but I mean, there there could be room for maybe like a 2-1 split if you would like. Uh, but in my own opinion, I, I my, my own preference, I think I'll just run the old the old X one. Yeah, I, I agree with that. <laughs> um, And then everything else is pretty standard on the list, right? I mean, do, is there many decks that run the Raramons in Leviathan? Um, I mean, if you have them, you should run them. <laughs> They're pretty good. I only have one. I was able to, only able to pull one. Those things are pricey as hell, dude. Damn. Uh, oh I actually want to try to test playing this deck just to try it. Not, not to play it, to play it at regionals, but just to play it to understand it. Uh, that way I know what I'm looking for when I play again. Because the whole time I was playing against it, uh, yesterday I was just like, Man, what can and can I do? Like, I don't know yet. Like, I really don't know. I know it goes out by effects and all that crap, but it's just, I, I don't really know, really. I'm just kind of going in blind in a way. 
I think I played you once with it with Numamon. That was just like a one time thing. And um, against Kim, I used Numamon also, and I beat her with that too. But I know it does stuff. It's just I don't know what I'm doing against it really. So, um, yeah. on to the third place list was another Leviathan list. <clears throat> This guy opts into playing the Cerebrus X antibody and the Dobermon X antibody cards, and as well the Goblimons. Yep, just more <clears throat> memory gain when trashing when playing Digimon by effect. So, and you pop off Biting Crush and the vibe comes on board. Yeah, big gain additional memory. Yeah, not, not a whole lot to say about that. It's more of standard. Pretty much standard list. Yeah. Uh, the next one would be the, f I believe, fourth place. Another Leviathan. Uh, another pretty standard. This one it just opts into playing four of the new X antibody card, the Prolo, and uh, two Ruin modes. Um, let's see. He does play one rare mon? Maybe he does. <laughs> he's like, I'm not buying another, or he just cares. Just to, he doesn't care to play multiple. Do you see something with this list that, that I see, Mike? All right. Do you see something in here that's missing that's not that's normally in the deck? What? I'm not saying that. Fighting Crush is not in the deck. Oh. Wait, <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> it's a little different. I mean, he got top four, so I mean, I guess it worked for him. Yeah. Uh, I mean, okay, we go to the fifth place list, which was uh, Lugamon, and let's see. I think Lugamon. He only plays three of them, and he was able to fit in the. Uh, Oh, you can go ahead and talk about this. It's my bad. Oh, yeah. Disappeared. Uh, are we on the Luga list? I cannot hear you. My bad. What happened? Oh, my bad. What what list are we on? Uh, we're in the Lugamon list. Uh, um, I mean, I don't think there's much to say. It's pretty much standard besides the... Dozzies? He doesn't play Dracomon? Dracomon? Yeah, he doesn't play. He opted for the, Do the Dozzies, which makes sense. Yeah, especially against uh, with the... Oh, uh, I mean, never mind. It probably doesn't really work again. Oh, I mean, it helps with the uh, Leviathan a little bit now, because you get to play, and then they can't really gain the memory anymore, or they still get the memory. But if, they, if they pop it. Uh, That's true. Never mind. Uh, and then uh, they're able to fit the delicate plan, which ended up dropping the Fenry, Fenry down to three instead of four, which kind of scares me to be honest. I don't ever, I don't think I ever want to drop that thing to three. Yeah, I think uh, from Swan's perspe uh, perspective, he he said he dropped to three a little bit um, for a little while. He was testing it, and he said it doesn't feel too bad, but he prefers it at four. I believe is what he said. Okay. And then of course you get that Hell Luga, which is freaking really good card for Lugamon. You just, card. you just play it, pop someone, and uh yeah. Let me draw two cards and trash cards so I can set up my, my plays. Um really? and then I think so I think we're fifth place. Sixth place red hybrid? I mean I don't even know if this is the order, it's just lists that are shown, but I'm guessing it's, this is a sixth place. I'm assuming <clears throat> he plays one of the oh. uh, dang. What's that name of the tamer? The white tamer again? Louis. Louis. One Louis. Yes, I think. I think it's Louis. Uh, don't come at us for not knowing the name of the tamer. <laughs> yeah, don't come at us, please. Uh, he plays one Uko or four Ukos. Two Blitz Omnis, which I think you said you're gonna pick that back up, right? Because you had dropped it to one for a little bit. Yeah, um, I was thinking about 
bumping that back up to four. Right now, I have it down to three. I'm just trying it out. Whoa, oh. the Blitz Omnis? I was talking about yes, the... I do see. Oh, I was talking about the the Blitz Omni mine. Oh, my bad. You scared me. Oh, huh? <laughs> I was like, whoa, four. My bad. <laughs> Mike, uh, Mike's making sure he blitzes. He ain't never missing. Right. Yeah. Right now, I run one. Um, at one point, I was running two. Maybe I bump it back up to two. I'm just not sure yet. Yeah, I mean, you still have a while. Uh, until we get to uh, that point, you know. Um, yeah. Plays the four Ukos. You said you play what three? Yes. Uh, one gravity crush. Are you on one or two at the moment? I think you're on two. I'm on two for right now. And then he plays one red red man boost. I don't play that at all. And of course, two of the crimson blazes. Mm. I mean, he got all the way up here, so I mean, I guess it worked for him. And it's just red hybrid go room, beat the crap out of your opponent. Yeah. Basically. <clears throat> um, and then the next list we have is a Numamon list, my boys. Uh, <laughs> he runs the prototype card in there, which at one point I was running the prototype. Um, it's just, uh, I don't know, man. I. I liked it, which it probably could have came in. It came in like a couple times, but a lot of times it just never was anything for me. Like I just never really played it, so I ended up dipping on that. Uh, he runs four level sevens. He runs one paladin, two ruins, one death X. I have three. I like. What happened, Mike? My bad. I like. I, I like this list a lot. Um, uh, ace card. It's a nice touch. Oh, yeah, I agree. And I like how he runs the black Agumon to gain additional memory. That was one of the cards I was trying to think about playing around with. Um, I don't know. I just never really tested it. He plays a lower amount of rookies, I think, in this. Four, six, eight. He plays ten rookies. I played twelve. I mean... I, that's around my range from what I've messed with at the deck. I, I'm around 10 to 12. So I'm, I'm, a, I'm only assuming, but I think his game plan with the rookies is that he only digivolves with the Argu and the Ukos. He keeps the other two in hand and only plays them when necessary. Yeah, the list is really cool, though. It's a solid yeah. list for sure. Uh, what else is he running here that's different well i know for sure the uh, zulong one the ace that's a good card the louis and i forgot the name of the, the tamer that the for digipolice the louis and her i bounce back and forth like i sometimes i put her at three and then i put her to put louis to one and then sometimes i put her to two and I put louis to two like i i'm still like messing with the ratios on those two tamers um, I want to try out uh, something with uh, Digi Emperor in the deck. Oh, okay. I think Emperor would be pretty cool. It helped me draw a little bit as well. If I can pop something, right? Level 5 and lower, I believe? Yeah. Which, usually in this deck, I'm popping something because uh, I can use Monzimon, lower something, and then play Monzi X. And then play another Digimon for free and then lower again. So it's like, I'm for sure going to pop something. Majority of the time I do pop something. Um, the only thing I would... I don't ever want to drop my Venus Wanda 2. I don't know. That's just me and my own preference. I just love Venus at 3. It's a good card. That's <laughs> so good. And uh, The Azulong, I, would, I, I thought about it too. But um, uh, the only thing I think it'll... Actually, you know what? It can help me against like Garumon when they don't expect it, or I mean, so maybe sometimes Red Hybrid if I feel like I have to play it against one of like an, your Aldemon or something. If you swing with Aldemon, uh, yeah, and it just—I think it's just one of those cards where you don't play it all the time. Yeah, you play it when you know it will yeah. stick on the board. Yeah, when it's necessary for it. Yeah, I I, I get you there. 
I don't know. I kind of scared to play an ace card in here, but I mean, I could I could always try and test it. Uh, yeah, the level sevens. I don't know. That's too much for me. But I mean, it worked for him. He got up here. I mean, what? It's how many level sevens? Four of them. One yeah. death X. One merciful mode. I said paladin again. Yeah. I don't know why I keep calling that damn card paladin. Uh, merciful mode, death X, and two ruin modes. Well, death X. I don't really consider death X like a dead card. <laughs> oh no, no. I I, I get you. So it's like. Three level sevens. Right. And if anything, it's like they're security bombs. Yeah. That's one thing I want to test out. Because that's what I've been doing with my Numemon is I if I play 12 rookies, I play a little bit less Numemons, right? And then if I play 10 rookies, I play more Numemons. And sometimes I want to see my Numemons. Well, actually, majority of the time you want to see new Mon, but um, yeah. I don't know, man. I gotta play with it a little bit more, uh, test, do some more testing. But so far, I've really enjoyed the way my deck feels. I just didn't play yesterday because I don't know. I had to take a break from it and have some fun, which we both did. Played some decks we don't play uh, in the tournament. Um, yeah. And then the next list we got here is the shine list. Oh. <clears throat> he plays three metal gray aces, Mike. I, I, I see that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I get it. I do. I just don't know how. Okay, so I get it, but it's not something that I would play. I get like, it too. I see why he, I see why he played the, the, the ace. Because you can um you can do a combo with that and the geo gray from security. Because I think the geo gray pops something 4k and then you just blast over it, pop something that's 6k. Mm. I see that it's just not something that I would do. Yeah, I, I get what you mean there. It's kind of I don't know. I mean it only really works against Numa Numa line? Line? I mean, and but if they have Numa X, they're just gonna play another body, or you you, you let them play their platinum out. Um, what else? The, I guess, not really Luga, right? Because um, all pop the, the Gato. What happened? You pop the Gato. That's true. The black Um, uh, you pop their blockers. I don't know, but it worked for him, man. He got up here, and he plays no security bombs. It's just all gas. Like, I'm hitting... I'm searching. Yeah, I noticed that. I might, I might give this a try. Yeah, try it out, man. I mean, I have Shine also, and I don't I don't think I, I play any security bombs either. It's, um, I think my list has... The one that Geo Gray, I tried for a little while. I mean, I just never really tested my shine too much. I kind of played it here and there, but I think the mo I played this deck twice, and uh, no, three times, about three times. But it's all casuals, so never really serious or anything. And I don't think I ever played against you with shine. No. Um, and then we got our next list, which should be a Bloom Lord list, which uh, he only runs one Quantum on, and I feel like. If you're James, and you're listening, James, I'm sure you disagree with just one quantum on. I think I th yeah. that card is solid, bro. It is. Um, what else is in this? Is three Pomos, three Terriers. He plays none of the new Palmons. The ones where you, uh, you can choose a target if they suspend, they lose two memory. Yeah, I, uh, I think that combo works so well with the new Palmon X, though. Like, uh, I've done it several times to Marcus here. I'll just promote, get one of his targets, um, lose two memory when suspended, did you all War Pal X, suspend it, get two more memory, and then start popping off with combos after that. 
Yeah. There was a time where Marcus gave me like two memory and I don't know. I just had the god hand because I was able to swing twice with two bloom lords from two memory. I got that much more memory. Jesus he was pretty upset. He hates that matchup. He hates playing Fangmon into Bloom Lord. He feels like it's not fair, not a fair matchup, but I feel like there's a way to win. So don't worry, Marcus, you got Especially it. This was his build now. Yeah, he has a really awesome man. If probably you're watching Mark uh Marcus, he's been practicing Fang Long since BT before BT fourteen, I think, right? Yeah. This guy's been grinding that deck forever. No, yeah, it was BT14 because EX5 came after, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. And BT14 because we're, we're playing on the sim, and this guy's been grinding that deck. Hardcore grinding, and he seems to like it because he hasn't gotten tired, or, tired of it or complained about it. All he keeps saying is like, well, I want to try this. Or I want to try this. And he changes it up, and then it's like, damn, what the hell are you, what are you doing? Like, you're doing weird stuff to me that I'm not... I used to say just like, hey, give me seven memory for free, you know, and he's right. he's getting real creative, which I'm proud to see. He's growing up. <laughs> he's starting to tech his own things. <laughs> he's figuring it out. I love it. Um, I feel bad. Oh, yesterday, though, I think usually his games go to time, but there are a few players in our locals that are a little bit slower. Uh and maybe that that's what he's saying cause, kind of caused it because i'm like marcus maybe you got to speed it up he's like i am dude i'm just playing i'm waiting <laughs> i was like i'm oh, sorry man uh but this time i don't think any of his games went to time nope um next list on here is another leviah i'm just gonna skip that one man uh, another lumamon i'll just go ahead and skip that wait what is that is that a death x alt art japanese card or something because that looks cool yeah, it's from the LM two, three. <sighs> that one looks sick. Uh, do we get an alt art in that? An LM two? Yeah. Yes, we do. Oh my Atlanta, I am ready. We also we get that. Uh, we get new gravity crushers. Uh, quartz. Quartz didn't didn't get alt art though, unfortunately. This is kind of like a mini reprint or something. Yeah. Oh, so now everybody's going to have a death X. They should have done that with freaking rune mode. Give us rune modes. Damn it. <laughs> He's on the same level as death X, and death X and Quartz. Come on, give us the level 7s, you jerks. Uh, <laughs> that, that mother effort is pricey. It really is. Uh, okay, and then we go into Mirage. Uh, I don't see anything weird in this list. He just takes out the Searcher Gaomons and plays the Jamming... Uh, Madoki Betamon, which I agree with. I mean, that's what I didn't really do that. I kept my searcher and I kept the other one that gives you memory when you bound something. I just took out my Gomamons, but huh, maybe this is a little better. Because I mean, you do have a lot of search and trainings and blue memory boost, so maybe you don't really need the, the other searcher. The only thing I, the only reason why I like the other searcher is I can get a tamer out of it. I, I can get a double hit possibly. Um. Yeah. Then we got another red hybrid list. I don't see anything here except he plays two Louis in this one and a Gaia Force. This is actually interesting. He doesn't play the three drop flame on that searches two. Oh, he doesn't. And I wanted to hit, hit two, right? Yeah. He only plays the one that searches the top four. And only lets you decide either a uh, hybrid or a tamer? Yes. He ends up playing a Gatsumon in here for some certain matchups too. Uh, Luga. It's looking for the Luga matchup. Yeah, I I don't think you need to really tech that in there because it's. I feel like even without it, you're. It's whoever goes face first, I believe. And the matchup. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. You played that matchup, so I I don't know how you feel about it. It stops certain plays from Luga, like when they go into. What's the other level five? Like? Uh, Stone Lugamon? Mm -hmm. The one that allows to play something from the trash? And then they the get memory. memory? Yeah. It stops that. I mean, I guess when you, you just hold this card, and if you know, if you see their trash and you're like, okay, they're 
ready to pop off next turn. Just play it, force them to remove it, and then pretty much your turn again because they got to remove it somehow. Yep. Uh, yeah, this is pretty the interesting. Dire, the Dire Force is nice. Yeah, just pop anything. Pop yes. whatever you want. <laughs> Old school card, man. Still a good card, though. Um, moving on to... He doesn't play any Omnimons, though. He just plays the Blitz Emperor. And three of the other ones. Do you agree on that, Mike? Or do you like that guy at four? He's he's at four. The old list used to be old list of uh, red hybrid used to be like four of the new one, one of the blitz one, and then one omni, right? My old list? Yeah. Um no, my old list was four, the new one, two of the old one. Oh, okay. And everyone was like, you know what, we just have Omnimon. Yeah. Alright, and then the next list, I wonder how many more there are here. I mean that's another Leviya. Not much to say. Another Bloom Lord. Uh, I don't see anything different. I mean, he does play. I forgot the name of that Digimon that's in there, but like a, another a Digizorp level five. Oh, we got a interesting dev list here. I think our names are in the way. Uh, do you know he plays one of every dev in here, every deva? He even plays the vanilla one. Two of each of the vanilla, the purple vanilla ones. Yeah, they what a six drop, a seven and a five drop. Oh, okay. And then he plays four rare mons. This guy's Which makes sense. My bad, Mike, go ahead. It makes sense. And he plays the um, old, uh, or not old, but the new Demi Maras, which also makes sense because you get to trash your devs to set up your trash. Yep, you swing with your level threes and your level fours. I like, like this after list. Red, yep, after Redmond does his thing, just swing with it. And you just draw, you just draw and trash more, searching for the training. And all your pieces, yeah. Hell, I really like. They're just taking advantage of the purple draw engine, pretty much. Yeah. Which I, I really like. I like this list. It's a good list. I mean, I got a top somewhere, you know. So it's pretty sick. Damn, that's a nice list. I'm trying to. <laughs> If I could afford Fang, I mean, I could afford it, but I don't want to pay for Fang. Not right now, anyways, because I'm trying to lower down on decks, not go up in decks. So, yeah. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Fang's, Fang's away for me. And maybe one day I can ask Marcus, can I borrow your Fang so I can build one of my own? But that's about it. Um, Then we got a... Oh, that, we're back to the second. But that's pretty much all the list for that. Those decks for uh, Worlds. And pretty much the last topic we we're just going to talk about was... Me and Mike, uh, we have a team going to regionals. Uh -huh. it, uh -huh. Was it March 30th at in Mesquite? Mike? Mike's on mute. Oh no, do we lose him? Mike? Ah, well, anyways, since Mike isn't here at the moment, He's kind of on mute. Maybe something went on at uh, on his computer. But, uh, yeah, we're all going to go to regionals. We're going as a team, as a six. Oh, there you go. I hear you. Hey. We're, we're, all, gonna we're all going to, uh, as a team of the regionals. Uh, Olympus ended up making us some shirts. I wish I took a picture so I could show the shirts. They're pretty cool. Um, we're going as a squad. Uh, got an Airbnb. We're ready to go. We've been testing like crazy. We're gonna go to we're going to stronghold tomorrow. So if you watch this later, this is a Saturday, tomorrow Sunday for us. We're going to another tournament, which should be very competitive, which is good testing again. I'm playing a competitive deck this time. Um, I'm pretty excited to go to regionals because the last time we went to a regionals, it was super fun. Uh, I plan to maybe do some video vlogging or something this time, which is should be cool. 
That way you can like show it off in our next jog rest disc when we come back or something. Yeah, that would be cool. It's like it's gonna be fun. Heck Hopefully yeah. one of us pops. Yeah, I, I hope so too, man. Like that's my goal. I am not going into for top one hundred or top fifty. I'm trying to top sixteen, man. I'm I'm putting a higher goal for myself. Um, I just got to keep putting the practice in because I know there's still misplays I do a little bit. It's not like a whole lot and I'm not a perfect player. So we all make mistakes, right? But I know there's some things I can do better at. So I'm trying to keep climbing that ladder to make sure I can get that top 16, top 16 spot somehow. And I want to get it. What about you, Mike? Where are you trying to get at this in this regionals? I mean, I would be lying to say I ain't trying to hit top 16. Um, I'll be fine with top 50, but top 16 is what I do want to hit. And then we also got first timers in Swan and Bobby. Yep. And uh, I'm sure they'll have fun because I remember the last time we went, it was such a good time. Uh, the community is freaking awesome. And, uh, I'm sure it'll be freaking awesome again. So they'll have a good time for sure. Yep. We got to get our little group table as well. <laughs> that we all meet up at after our rounds. Yes. Um, no, yeah, but I can't wait. It'll be a lot of fun. Can't wait to meet some players from around the States that are going to probably fly down or fly here or fly to Texas. And, uh, I think we're going to meet up James there. He's going to be there. I'm not sure who else in the Valley is going to go to the tournament, but for sure, six of us from Olympus. And I feel like it's our six best players. Nothing to, not, not knocking the other players. They're, they're still good. They're actually, our tournaments have gotten a lot more competitive, to be honest, which is pretty good. They like, have. I enjoy it. Like from, remember from like the start, we grew a little baby and now it's growing and growing right. and all our little babies. <laughs> they're also growing and they're playing they're getting better which i i enjoy seeing it like yesterday i was playing angel and it was a competitive match uh moses competitive match um i played santiago competitive match i was like damn these guys are getting better i like it there's some misplays here and there and i even told them like you could have probably done that uh and i even said you can take it back if you want and i think santiago's like no nah, i already did it He's one of those players. I'm like that, too. I'm more like, nah, if I made a mistake, I'm going to learn from it. Um, yeah. That's more like, because even Marcus is like that. <laughs> Marcus is very hard-headed with that. He's like, nah, I'm not taking it back. I already did it. He's like, I already did it. And we're like, Marcus, we're saying it's okay. Nah, I already did it. Go ahead. I already made the mistake. I fucked up. There ain't no redos. I'm like, okay, damn. <laughs> All right, Marcus, you're, just, you're so hard on yourself. Uh, I mean... I, I also do that too, just because, like, man, I just I want to make the mistake to know my mistake, I guess. Um, yeah. Is there any other things you want to bring up, Mike, or before we head on out of here? Um, no, not really. Um, I guess it's just like, yeah, Olympus is an awesome. We have an awesome community down here. Um, everyone's friendly. We all get along with each other. So it's like, if anyone's, if y'all come down to the valley, you know, stop by, we'd be glad. I believe we had a guy too. Remember that? Uh, I think it was a while back. It was a guy from Corpus. He just showed up, came to the shop, saw that we were playing Digimon. He's like, oh man, I wish I brought my deck. I didn't know there's tournaments. And then I just, I think I let on yep. Mel Melga. That was like old Melga back in the day. Yep. He's like, I was like, what decks do you play? And he's like, I play Melga. I was like, I got Melga. You want to play it? You want to try it? And he's like, sure. And he looked at my list. He's like, okay, I can run with this. I think he got like top four or something. Yeah, yeah I remember that. Um, but yeah, like uh, like Mike was saying, if you come down to this area of the valley, deep south Texas, you know, uh, you got Kaboom, you got Cascade, you got Olympus. Really good spots on Fridays, pretty much. I think they all, all of them are on Fridays. Uh I would say uh, yeah. the Coliseum, that one's on Wednesdays. A lot of us don't can't really make the Wednesdays. So, man, I wish. 
Maybe we can talk to him. Maybe change it to a Thursday or something. I don't know. Or even a Monday. That, that doesn't even bother me. I don't know how many people can make a Monday. But maybe a Thursday is possible. Yeah. Which I'm hoping to spread more tournaments out throughout the weeks. Kind of like the way San Antonio does it. Houston does it. They all host different days, which is cool. Oh, um, okay. And then, um, yeah, I mean, there's shout out to CK. He was on a podcast, I think, Security Check. Oh, yeah. I was, oh, I was listening to that on my drive all the way to Wesco and then all the way back from Wesco. And yeah, it was it was cool. CK. Hopefully we can do a podcast with you either on your channel or on this channel. It'd be cool. Yep. Um, I think what we'll do for the next jog rest this just keep you a little quick update. It'll probably be locals update again for um, Stronghold and Olympus. And then um, probably do a tier list, Mike down we haven't done those in a while try to see what's let's see if we're right when we get back from regionals if we if our thoughts are right on the the decks that were at the top yeah all righty well that's all for me i don't know if mike has any last words for y'all uh no just stay safe out there y'all um, yeah play, play digimon have, have fun yeah, have fun with this awesome game, and uh, y'all have a good night, good morning, well, good morning, good afternoon, good night, doesn't matter. Uh, have a great day. Yeah. Peace out. Later.